Fennis Jennings Dake was a Pentecostal minister and evangelist. Starting in 1927, Dake was an administrator of several Pentecostal Bible schools, including the Texaco Bible Institute in Dallas and the Southwestern Bible School in Oklahoma. He is most recognized for publishing the Dake's Annotated Reference Bible, referred to by Charisma and Christian Life magazine as, quote, the Pentecostal Study Bible. The Bible, which contained unorthodox and heretical commentaries, influenced several Pentecostal and charismatic ministers, including Kenneth Hagin, Jimmy Swaggart, Rod Parsley, Benny Hinn, Joyce Meyer, Marilyn Hickey, Ralph Wilkerson, and more. Dake held revivals with Mr. Pentecost, David Duplissis, as well as the Full Gospel Businessman's Fellowship International. Dake also held School of Evangelism seminars with Rev. Lester Summerall, Assemblies of God minister who defended William Branham's Latter Rain ministry. Dake was trained in the Glad Tidings Bible Training School of San Francisco and the Central Bible Institute in Springfield, Missouri. He was eventually forced to resign from them due to his anti-biblical tritheism version of the Trinity and extra-biblical views of a pre-Adamite world. As an Assemblies of God minister, Dake also founded a Bible school in Zion, Illinois, home of cult leader John Alexander Dowie. His ministry ended abruptly when he pled guilty to violating the Mann Act by bringing a 16-year-old girl into Wisconsin for the purposes of sex. Dake served six months prison time for the crime. At Southwestern, Dake taught dispensational truth classes, apparently named after Clarence Larkin's book on the subject. As a result, many of William Branham's views on church-age theology and eschatology were very closely aligned with Dake. Dake produced drawings such as his Plan of the Ages, which were very similar to the drawings made by Larkin in Dispensational Truth. William Branham was fully aligned with Dake's views of a pre-Adamite race. Branham believed that before the Garden of Eden, another civilization existed. In Branham's view of the Genesis story, God did not have to necessarily create, God simply reused what was already there. According to Branham, even the trees and everything came from seeds that were watered by God. Also like Branham, Dake was a strong supporter of segregation of races and published a tract, 30 Reasons for Segregation of Races. You can learn this and more on william-branham.org.